Yo, what's going on everybody? My name is Justin and welcome back to some more World of Warcraft. Hope you're having an awesome day. But peoples, we are back with another character like kind of showcase video. Uh, the last one I made was a, while, a little while back and I didn't really, I was kind of a noob. I just got back from a like, from like a year break and I thought I knew everything about the characters that I left off on and I didn't. And I was like, oh yeah, this guy's item level was like 792 when you can't even get that high. I don't even know if you can get that high in WD, but <laughs> guys, we're here for an updated version. You guys seem to love the last one and I have leveled up a couple new characters and we got some new stuff and yeah, so it's going to be pretty awesome. Um, nothing has happened on the old server. If you guys have seen in the last video, I'll put it down in the, in the description. You guys can go check it out. It's at like 2000 views, by the way. And I want to say thank you guys so much for all the views and likes and everything it means a lot to me but uh but guys let's hop into the main server this is where i started off this is where uh this is grown is where i started off it um when i first joined wow it said uh it was like one of these new players once so i just clicked on it and then i just started off in Garona. um and i swapped servers recently because the population just gets so low and it's so boring and it's annoying um but so we got that we have a level 90 alpha Level 90 Death Knight, I almost called him Level 90 Alfbrick, but, uh, so that's his name, Alfbrick. Um, he's pretty good. I th I don't even want to know what item level he is. I want to say he's, like, 590 or something. I don't even know. I, I, I haven't been bothered to sign into any of these guys, so that's going to be that. Um, we got the Rogue here, this Assassination Rogue. He's pretty cool. Oh, also, this is a Frost DK, by the way. Um, we got, have a Destruction Warlock, which I haven't even played any of these. Uh, and these top three all have, like, over 10k gold on each of them. Which I don't, which I can't even do anything with besides buy heirlooms and maybe like wow game time, but I don't need game time because I just pay for it. So I'm, so I'm debating on just transferring all my gold onto my Death Knight and transferring him over to the realm that I play on currently. Um, okay, so the Druid, I don't really know what spec he is. I think he's the Bear form one, or maybe he's Feral. I don't really remember. Um, this was my favorite class. I don't know why. Um, I, once all these guys were level 90, I was, I just got bored. Um, I got bored with the mop content because that's when I quit playing on the server. And I just decided to make a monk because I never made a panda. I like the beard. I think he looks like pretty intimidating if, he, if I do say so myself. Um, but yeah, so I just went with a monk and I had a lot of fun. Now, I've never actually sat down and grinded a character. Super. This guy took me two days to get to level 66. Now, you guys are probably like, oh, man, I get like to level 100 in two days. Well, you know what? I, I can't do that, okay? I'm not good enough or I don't have time to do that, okay? <laughs> So, uh, yeah, level 66 monk, I had a lot of fun with him. Uh, priest, and these are just a bunch of vaults that kind of just are here for here. I don't really know. Um, okay, so let's hop into the next one. I'll go on Proudmore last. You guys can check that out next. Um, this is, this was gonna be my, this is gonna be my Horde server if I ever wanted to play Horde. I've always wanted to make a Hunter, and I really, really like the Undead, so I made an Undead Hunter on this, and I was actually planning on leveling up to, like, level 15 or something, or whatever, whenever you can go into BGs and just have fun. I was gonna have fun with him. Uh, Rampage Moo, I don't really know why he's here, to be honest, and then just a couple other guys. Um, they're basically just servers that I made for, like, my brothers to play on. Like, this is his character. Uh, he hasn't played on it in a long time, so <laughs> it's just kind of chilling there. Moon Guard, you have to have a Moon Guard character. It's so it's so weird. I was on Moon I was on Moon Guard. I played for about 20 minutes. I got asked if I wanted to erotic role play, and I was like, no. Um, and I told the guy to take me out for a picnic, and he did, and he gave me 50 gold. So now I currently have 50 gold in this character, uh, which is crazy. But anyways, over to Proudmore. Um, okay, so. Um, as you guys can see in the last video, my mage was like level 82, I want to say. Um, my paladin was like level, I don't even want to know, I, I just want to guess, like probably in the 20s range. Um, same with the warrior and the warlock too. Um, but I started leveling up a rogue a little bit. He's full heirloomed out, like everything is heirlooms. Um, which is just crazy, heirlooms are so overpowered. Um, I, I honestly, like, from my perspective, I think they should get a little bit of a just not just i think they need nerf just a little bit um we got a warrior which i'm having a lot of fun on him actually i went fury spec um he, he i just leveled him up from like level 22 to 32 in like a couple hours it's really that easy um i believe he's fury or no he's arms right now but i want to go fury because i want to dual wield the uh, two handers which i think is just awesome um you guys let me know down in the description or down in the comments what's uh what's the best spec for a warrior i'm still i'm still wondering um, we got the Warlock, which is obviously our Let's Play Warlock. If you guys want to go check that out, I have a full Let's Play on him. Um, I haven't done one recently, but I will get back into it. Um, he's a lot of fun. He's a Destruction Warlock. That's just the only thing I've ever played. I've never tried Demonology or Affliction, I believe, is the other two, right? Um, so we got the Paladin. He, I'm having a lot of fun on him right now. I, I'm a prop pally, and um, I only did it for the Insta Tank Q things dungeons. Um... And it's, it's a lot of fun. I, I'm, I'm enjoying the tanking aspect. I've never been a tank ever. And 
I felt like the Pally is probably the best tank in my opinion because you got like you got so much AOE control and you get like taunts and blah, 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 blah. but you guys you know everyone has their own opinion on what's the best tank I just think it's I think it's the Paladin um, and then on to my pride and joy this is where I put everything into um, I play on I play on my mage all the time like this when I when I'm on WoW I'm pretty much playing this guy um, as you guys can see, I'm a, I'm a, I have a bunch of PvP gear on. I'm almost full um, item level 700 just PvP gear. I think I have like I don't even know. Let's go into them. Um, I don't really know how many pieces of the season three I have. I know I have like a couple, and I have a couple of season two. I kind of just mixed them up. I was stupid. I don't know why I did that to be honest. Um, but yeah, so it was a lot of fun. So I am gonna get into Stormwind. I'll see you guys there. Alrighty, never mind. I'm not going to Stormwind. Apparently, I'm flying somewhere in Kalimdor. Um, I think I'm actually going to farm right now is what I was planning on doing. Um, but guys, so here he is. He is level item level 697. I'm, I've been leveling up pretty quick. So I have a couple, like I said, season 3 pieces. Um, I've got the hands. I've got the waist. I still have to get legs, which uh, which is pretty easy. Um, I, got the, I got the boots. Oh, I got a bunch of season 3 actually. I'm almost full season 3. I just need to get my, uh, I need to get my other, my other trinket. This is season 2, I know that. Um, this is season 3. Season 3, Season 3, Season 3, Season 2. So I only have two pieces of Season 2, and I have to get two more pieces left, and I'm done. And I have all Season 3. Um, I've, had a lot, I've had a lot of fun on the... Um, oh, someone bought my High Chief's Gauntlets. Nice. Um, but I've been having a lot of fun on PvP. Like, the Frost Mage is so much fun in PvP. They do so much damage, and I'm having a lot of fun with it. Um, reputation, I don't really know if you guys care about that. Currency, blah, 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 blah. Um, and let's hop into, I've been actually gold farming a little bit recently. Um, I have 60k, which isn't that much, but I started gold farming three days ago, and I've already got, like, six emerald whelplings, I've got a dark whelpling, i got a tons of transmog gear, and I'm just having a lot of fun just gold farming and, um, you know, doing my thing. I just like to listen to music and gold farm. Um, but guys, that's gonna do it for today's episode. Thank you guys so much for tuning in and watching. I hope this, I hope this is a little bit better than the last one. Obviously, we're gonna have better gear and whatnot. But guys, thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a big fat thumbs up, and I will make sure to keep making these progression videos. Um, when I start leveling up tunes and whatnot, I'm really hoping on getting that Paladin up to uh, level 100 before the expansion comes out, because I want, I kind of want to have a prop Pally going into Legion. I think that'll be a lot of fun. Um, I haven't bought the Legion expansion yet, so I also have a free 100 coming in. So I'm debating when I buy it if I get the Paladin to level 60 and then just boost him, so I get like the maxed out uh, whatever you get. Uh, but guys, that's going to do it. Thank you so much for tuning in. My name is Justin. Peace out, everybody.